Hello again, this is Chris Tanky from Strategic Financial Group. Welcome to another rendition of Plan Smart, Retire Smart. Now, as you know, we've created this video series to educate the public on all things financial. Uh, of special focus to us is investment and retirement planning. We look at most people's lives, their financial lives, as having two halves. The first half of your financial life is all about accumulation. The second half of your financial life is all about wise distribution of what you've accumulated. Those are two different games, strategies, like a football game, uh, that people have to make the transition to. Most everybody that comes into our office has 30 or 40 years experience accumulating stuff in their IRAs or 401ks. But someday when they retire and start the second half of their financial life, they have to figure out how this all works together with tax planning and social security and pension management and IRAs distributions and required minimum distributions and risk mitigation strategies and all this other kind of stuff that just a few years earlier they didn't have to think about while they were working, right? So our firm has been designed specifically to help people transition from the first half into the second half of their financial lives. And um, it's really been a very rewarding, very satisfying thing to do. Now, when people first come in to meet with us and slide their life's work across the table, even before we look at what they have, we want them to see this illustration. We want them to have a baseline for how to look at their dollars, because ultimately they're going to have to shuffle, say if they have $800,000 in a 401k, they stock bonds, mutual funds, they have to shuffle that into a retirement plan, right? So we didn't come up with this illustration. We borrowed it from uh, a sister firm of ours. But the point is this, that everybody wants three things, the exact same three things from their investment. They want safety. They can't afford to lose any money at this stage in their lives. They're not putting any more in. There's no more matching, right? Uh, they're actually taking money out and using it. They need safety for their money. It's very high on their priority list. They need liquidity. Right? They're not getting a paycheck anymore, right? So they have to have access to their money in case there's an emergency or if they want to take $1,000 a month or whatever it is to live off of to go along with Social Security. They need access. They need liquidity. So safety is huge. Liquidity is huge. And finally, the last one, growth is huge, right? Our clients want to make money on their money. They understand inflation. They can't put it under a rock, right? They can't stick it all in the bank. Inflation will eat their value, purchasing value, alive if they do that. So that's what we all want. Safety, liquidity, growth. And a lot of people are looking for the investment that will give them all three. Well, we have to have a come to Jesus conversation here because the truth of the matter is it doesn't exist. No matter what anybody tells you, whatever you invest in, you have to give up one of the three. Or in other words, you can only have two out of the three. Now, it's important you understand this because now as you see the expectations and purposes of dollars, what you're giving up to what you're gaining, now you can figure out how to reshuffle your 401k into a retirement plan. Let me show you. Safety, liquidity, growth. That is the holy grail of an investment. Man, show me an investment that does that and will be just well-to-do people. Well, I, it doesn't exist, right? You're always gonna give something up. Okay, so let's say that you are bound and determined to have an investment that's completely safe and completely liquid. You wanna, you know, you wanna make sure you get your hands on it and you can't afford to lose it. Well, there are investments that do that, yep. But you're gonna voluntarily give up growth. You can't have a safe, liquid investment that has any growth potential. It, it really doesn't exist. Okay? Your money, say, most, for most cases, is in the bank, in a money market or a savings account, right? Completely liquid, completely safe if it's FDIC. You know, as long as the government is around, good chance they will be. Growth potential? Heavens no. And you voluntarily gave that up. You held your nose and put money in there anyway because that was not its job. It, its job was to be available to live off of or to for emergencies or three months of living, six months, whatever you subscribe to, right? Um, most people need that. But you don't want to put probably all of your retirement savings in that because inflation with no growth over seven, eight, ten years 
is actually going to really, really eat into your purchasing power. The second thing you can do is say, well, let's say that I want an investment that's completely liquid and has nice growth potential. Sure, what are you going to give up? Well, maybe only two out of the three, you got to give up safety. And your money is in, most people, is in the markets. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, maybe some real estate. Um, and you're trying to figure out your risk tolerance and, and, and get the right mix, maybe working with an advisor to do that, and that's all well and good. But even if you're 100% in a conservative portfolio of bonds, you're at risk. That's not a safe portfolio. It might be more conservative than 100% in uh, small cap foreign bonds and, or mutual funds and ETFs, but it is not safe. You're taking risk there. But because you want growth, you will do that. Do you need some there? Yeah, quite probably you do. Uh, but we would suggest whatever's in that category, you have time before you need to touch it. We'll share in a minute what we mean by that. And then finally, if you want an investment that uh, has growth potential and is safe, you're going to give up some liquidity. Uh, here you go. Most of us understood this the first time that maybe we were younger, we cashed out a CD and discovered something called surrender for early withdrawal, right? It's completely safe, just like the money market was. But because we reach to get a little growth, say it's a five-year CD, paying 1.8% or whatever it's doing today, uh, we could have left our money five years in a money market, maybe not make as much, right? But we said, no, no, we'll accept the term to give a little bit of growth. We gave up liquidity. Right? Um, you might have some money in the CD right now, and, and that's, that's the bargain that you made with yourself, right? Safety, growth, uh, liquidity, we got to be able to live with that. Right? Um, one could make the case that maybe a very conservative individually held bond, maybe a, a U.S. Treasury bond or something like that, uh, is pretty close to safe, not completely safe, but really quite conservative, real, real conservative. Um, uh, but if you're going to hold the bond, you have a liquidity issue. Um, sure, if it's a five-year bond, you can hold it to five years and they'll give you your money back, the way a lot of these bonds work. Um, and in the meantime, you're, you're gathering interest from it or a coupon from it, that's fine. But if you have to sell it intra-term, the roof goes out and you gotta sell the bond three years into owning a five-year bond, you might discover it's worth noticeably less than what you paid for it. it. It just depends on where interest rates have gone. And not to get too deep into the weeds, uh, that's a, an interest rate risk problem. But, but the point is that that might fall into this category. Uh, it's quite safe. Some growth potential, but you gave up some liquidity if you committed to a term. Um, and then there are certain types of annuities that would function in this category. Not a variable annuity that functions in this category at risk. But if you want um, uh, a fixed annuity or an index annuity, these are annuities that have no loss of principal at all. Um, and either they give you a fixed rate like a CD or they'll allow you to participate in the stock market uh, a portion of what the market returns, they kind of follow an index, but if it's negative in a given year, two, three year period, uh, they're going to make sure you do not lose money ever. Um, so you could probably have well, an annuity bond or CD that would fall into this category. The problem is though, you've got to make sure that for safety, you're not giving up or putting yourself at uh, liquidity risk. Right? We have people come to the office, they have 90% of their stuff in fixed index annuities because they don't want to lose money to the markets. I, I understand that, but if they have a significant liquidity episode in their lives, that could be a problem because most annuities, let's say, only allow you to take 10% out a year without a penalty. So you have to dance with who brung you. You have to live within the terms of the product and understand how that works ahead of time. So safety, liquidity, growth. Most of our clients understand, having talked, spoken to us, talked with us about what their job description, timeline, purpose is for each of their investments accomplished for them in each of these type of categories, right? So for instance, um, a lot of our clients, they have a section of their money in cash, no growth potential, but that's not the point. Maybe they have 20, 30, $40,000 in cash just to be there, all right? Uh, they have long-term money in growths, 
stock bond, mutual funds, whatever. Uh, but they have an ample amount of money in CDs, annuities, or something such as that, that they can pull money out of here for, say, 10, 12, 15 years to supplement their Social Security, right? Kind of what we call a retirement cocktail. Pull money out of these accounts, use this for an emergency, pull money out of here to live off of, and buy time to take risk for this. Uh, a lot of our clients put something together quite similar to that. It, it, we don't have a cookie cutter portfolio, but it just depends on what people want to do and, and how they view things. But the point is this, every one of our clients understands what category their money is in, why it's there, what they can gain from it, and what they gave up to be there. Remember, you can only get two out of three. I hope that's been helpful to you at Strategic Financial Group. Um, we just want to coach up our clients. We want to be uh, uh, beneficial to the public uh, to uh, help people start thinking in, in, in bigger terms, in more comprehensive terms on how their money works. So next time we get together, uh, we're going to actually show you how we take these three different categories and create a financial plan. Really, you can draw on the back of a napkin. Uh, that'll be the next video that we will produce. But until then, this is Chris Tanky from Strategic Financial Group. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you found this valuable. Uh, and remember, it's not those who invest smart uh, that retire smart. It's those who plan smart who retire smart. Talk with you soon. Godspeed.